everyone and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how to disassemble the slide of the GSG and SIG 1911 pistol for cleaning and such. Also if time permits I'm going to go ahead and show you how to bypass the Series 80 components in here. Now the Series 80 components in this pistol are basically a firing pin block. It's another safety feature that's added to the 1911 style pistols and by removing them you can get a little bit better of a trigger pull since there's less moving components in there. So if time permits, I'm going to show you how to do that. I've already done it and I've already made a video on a full size 1911. I'll put a link for it here. Be kind, it's an older video. So <laughs> we'll get right to it. I'm going to I'm going to assume that you know how to take apart your GSG or your SIG pistol. So I'm just going to bypass that and skip right to the meat of the to the video. This is my open gun. It's still in process. If you haven't seen this before, there's some pictures on Facebook and Google Plus. Plus, I'll be doing another video once I finally get the, the final modifications done to it. It'll be uploaded here on YouTube and, or other video uh, outlets. So be sure and subscribe so you get notification of that. So let's get to it. Okay, so we've got the gun disassembled to its major components. We basically have the slide here with no barrel, no recoil spring, and then the frame. Now looking at the slide, you'll notice inside here, in the very back, we have the, the firing pin block right here. It's on a little spring right here. This has to be depressed in order for the firing pin to fully go forward and ignite the cartridge up here. Now what presses that upward is some of the Series 80 components in the frame here. You'll see this little tab right here. I've got it sticking up at the moment. But when you depress the trigger, it comes up and sticks or moves that little plunger upward. So there's a moving component there, and there's another moving component down in here, and then we have the moving components in the uh, in the front in the slide. So by removing those, you can get a trigger a nicer trigger pull. But um, right now, let's just take this this frame apart or the slide apart so we can get any of these parts and clean this because this does get pretty nasty. You just have to be a, a pay attention to what you're doing in here because there is a lot of moving parts. So if you look on the right hand side of the slide, there's a pin right here. There's some little bitty scratches, I guess. It's kind of tapered, if you will. I've knocked it out before, so you're gonna see some marks on my gun, but what we wanna do is we wanna hammer from the left side. Just in case, take a closer look, make sure you don't have, find out where those marks are because that's the direction you want to go out of, just in case it's backwards from mine. So I'm gonna hammer from this side I'm going to use my trusty brass punch. Get yourself some brass punches. I'm going to tip it up a little bit, give it a few whacks, and it should come out pretty easy once you get it started. So taking a closer look, see if my camera will focus on that. You can see those little scarring marks on the pin. That's what's going to grip it once it's in the, in the slide itself. So I'm going to pull that out. We'll set that aside and we're going to put it in the uh, same direction when we go to put this back together. So now we get this portion right here that slides back and forth. We want to slide it up to the front about a half inch I guess and then pull upward. So just keep sliding it forward until you can move it up and out of the frame or out of the slide. So I'm going to flip it over this way because there's a spring that's going to want to move out of the way. So once we get that out. I'm going to set this apart, this off to the side. So here's our bolt, I guess, is for lack of better words. So we have a tiny little spring right here. We don't want to lose that. I'm going to use my tweezers. So note the orientation in which this comes out. It's just like a little, it looks like a screw or a spring, a screw head with no threads on it. It's real tiny. We'll set that down and then we have a spring that's going to come out. And we'll set that down. So now let me move in with my camera here so we can see a little better. Too much. All right. There's a pin here on the side. This should just push right out easily in either direction. So we're going to pull that out. So we'll set this down with our spring. Another thing, and you notice the, uh, the firing pin. This is the firing pin right here. It started to move. Now this right here is the plunger that we saw on the other side and that spring is what makes it bounce up and down so what we're gonna do now there's a spring in here so we have to be careful about it so I'm gonna pry this up from the rear and you'll notice that we can now take this out 
comes out of this hole right here. There's a square hole. Okay, take that out. We'll set it down. Now we can get our firing pin out. So be careful about that spring. So I'm going to grab the end here and I'm going to pull back a little bit to get clear the bolt face. So I'm pulling back and up. So here comes that spring. So be careful not to let it shoot across the floor. You see it come out right there? Okay. Now when we pull the spring out, you're in, there's a little pin inside that spring, so be careful with that too. It goes towards the rear, away from the bolt face. So these are the components. Let me back out now on the camera. These are our components inside here. Putting it back together is basically the reverse order. I find putting the firing pin back in and the spring is best if you do it outside of the, the, uh, the bolt. So we'll take this little pin and we'll put it back in its spot. I take the little pin. This is the back where these little squares are cut out. This is the back of the firing pin. So we'll put it here, squeeze it, and capture this, the spring in there. And then at this point, you can take that, dip it in at an angle, and just slide it right in. And it should go. There we go. So now, if you want to put the Series 80 components back in, I'm using tweezers. I highly recommend some tweezers if you don't have some in your in your tool bag. Get some. They're very helpful. So we're going to take this. We're going to raise up the firing pin a little bit in the back. Stick that in like so and just drop it in place. There we go. So then we'll take our spring. Drop it in the top. Oh, and don't forget the little rod that holds the firing pin in place. We'll go and just push that right through. No tools needed on that one. It just easily fits through. And then we take that little screw thing that looks, well, it looks like a screw with no threads on it. We'll take it and drop it right here. This can be the difficult part here, putting this back in the gun, because if you flip this over, that's gonna, the spring and such is going to fall right out. So what I like to do is take the slide and hold it up just like we took it apart find that sweet spot. There's some cutouts in here that allow the bolt to go up inside the slide. So we're going to try this. Let me see if I can do it without blocking the camera view. And basically I'm doing it like this to keep that spring from losing its position, popping out, falling on the ground, losing it, or basically not getting in there. Just got to move it back and forth. Found it. So now once I'm up all the way against the top of the slide, I can slide it back into place. Then I put my pin in from the side that we took it out from and we'll check our spring right here, make sure the plunger still works. So there we go, it depresses all the way and that's what we want. So now you can put the gun back together after you hammer that pin in and uh, assuming you cleaned everything, I didn't, I just took it apart. And there you have it. So that's taking apart the slide on the GSG. If you want to look, um, I have some other videos here I'll put at the end of this one to uh, if you want to do a few other modifications or changes and look at the lower itself or the, the frame, I'll put those links here. Okay, so I've run out of time to show you how to bypass those Series 80 components. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a link to a second video here. And in this video, I will show you how to remove the uh, Series 80 components and replace it and hopefully get a crisper trigger pull. Well, thanks for watching and please subscribe for more competition shooting and gun reviews.